I need to get out the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. And I know there have been plenty of times, yeah. especially with social media now, yeah. mm -hmm. and you're at home, you're in the bed, Clicking. and you got uh, <laughs> baby drool mm -hmm. all over you. Like, there have been so many nights where I'm like, gosh, mess, messy bun, yes, t-shirt on, in the bed scrolling, all my friends are, yeah! Oh my God! I'm like, no! <laughs> that, I just close the app. Yeah. Hey, Ma. What's up? Hey Ma, welcome to Moms Actually, where motherhood meets sisterhood. sisterhood. I'm Blair and these are my co-hosts. Morgan Taylor. Sopa Rush. And today we are talking about what friends. about your <laughs> friends? Oh yeah, what about your friends? <laughs> so today we are going to play our very favorite game, It's mm -hmm. Giving Motherhood. Motherhood. So some of you guys have played with us, some of you haven't. So just in case, if you see it's gold, that means yes, yes. yes. we agree. If it is white, you're like, nah, girl, that ain't it. Mm -hmm. And if you just aren't sure, you can put it in the middle. But, mm -hmm. you know, your first answer is, is the right, right answer, answer. <laughs> always. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. yep. Did your friendships change after having kids? Yes. Yes. Nah. No, a little bit of both. Really. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no. Do many of your friends have kids? I think it's yes, in now. the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. Yeah, I would say no. it's in the middle. Yeah. Have you ever felt left out of things after having kids? Certainly. Yes, for sure. I really have. No. <laughs> you either didn't want to go yeah, or I, you was always invited. I was not invited. <laughs> I was not invited. Um, do you find yourself ever comparing your friendships? Mm. Yes. Like the way they have kind friends of. with other people mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I, yeah, I 100% do. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. <laughs> um, have you ever had unrealistic expectations from your friends? Yes. yes. 100%. Yes. If they yes. can't read my mind, they're then not being a great friend. <laughs> <laughs> do you have friends that you know would do anything yes, for you? Yes, 100%. Are they catching a charge? <laughs> no. uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yes. Mine would. I don't think mine would. Think, I think so. I mine think would. so. She would have a lot of questions, though. She knows who she is. <laughs> mine would. <laughs> um, do you make your friendships a priority in your life? Yes. yes. No. Ugh. Yeah. You do better than you think. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> I could do. Said, you think you, yeah, you I can do. I, I could do much better. Um, do many of your friends have the same lifestyle as you? That's in the uh, middle. I would say it's in the middle. I have like yeah, two a little bit groups. groups. I think. Yeah. They are grouped. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Did your friends stop inviting you places once you became yes. a mom? Yes. Yes. For sure. No, yeah. because I didn't get invited. There. <laughs> because I like being in the house. Yeah. Um, did becoming a mom change the amount of friends you had or the type of friends you had? Yeah, I would say so. No, I don't think so. Mm, like, kind of in between. It's like yeah, maybe it's like an in between, in between for me. Yeah. Why do you think it's an in yeah. between? Only because of the, the time period. I mean, I've been a mom for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years. And yeah. so naturally your friends change too. That's true. And so the things that like, I originally, I was not, my, my friends were still in their like teenage, like college, mm -hmm. like, you know, we're doing this, that, and the third mm -hmm. when I first became a mom and I couldn't go to everything and they didn't invite me to everything because they're like, you just popped out a baby. They didn't invite you to the club? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did not. And, um, but no. And then now it's kind of like my life is changed, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And. I, the group of friends, I moved, like yeah. I relocated, mm -hmm. and I've had my friends, like I said, since I was a kid. Okay. Like my, ki my friends were, since I was like five years old, we've all had oh, the same yeah. group. So naturally, mm -hmm. you kind of split, and mm -hmm. honestly now, there's probably only one to two yeah. friends out of the group of like seven that we had. Yeah. It's only like two I talk to like regularly, I'm and my one that would catch a charge Are yours me. childhood <laughs> friends or like Adult friends. More so adult friends. Okay. I didn't really have like stability, so I didn't um, have like a set group mm. of friends that I grew up with. Okay. So now, I mean, my friends that I have, 
are all like I met in pretty much that list that are mm -hmm. really close to me. Oh, so, yeah, that's the best. And I love it. Your friends are great. You actually yeah. have like a, yeah, <laughs> you have a solid. I went solid, to her like book group. release party and mm -hmm. I like immediately text Morgan. I was like. <laughs> Sopa probably has like the best, best friend group ever. that ever existed. And y'all really like to celebrate each other. Y'all yeah. do. Which is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. You're going to get that congratulations text from me. They're going to have, <laughs> they're going to have balloons yeah. and a dinner. Like and all a, of that. The crazy yeah. thing is I met them all via social media. That's the oh, crazy wow. part. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So you really, really are blessed, yes. basically. Yeah. But I, I met some I crazies have. on social media as well. Friendships that went yeah. south. south. Yeah. So. How did that go? Um, you know, I'm very trusting with people mm -hmm. I love well, I mm -hmm. love deeply, mm -hmm. and sometimes I've caught myself, like, extending so much of myself to a person, or I give so much, so fast, so fast mm -hmm. that I end up getting hurt quickly, because yeah. I'm like, I thought they had my best interest in yeah. mind, yeah. so it just sucks whenever it doesn't go mm -hmm. as planned, or the friendship takes a turn, you're like, yeah. what happened? Yeah. yeah. So. That was one of the things yeah. that impressed me about you, though. Like, Given your background and how you grew yeah. up, I was like, yeah. how does she trust people? Yeah. And how do you like so quickly like open up? Because, yeah. girl, you do not look like you know <laughs> yeah. a lot of what none you of us do. Through. I feel like yeah. certainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's an ongoing joke. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but Blair, have you ever had friendships that kind of went south or just kind of fell apart? Because... So how I describe myself, and it's like a fault of my own. I'm like the third friend. Like, yeah. I'm like, it'll be like a group of us. And then like, I'm the friend that just kind of like randomly yes. like disappears and then they become best friends yeah. and they're friends for like 30 years. Yeah. And it's been like that since I was a young kid. I can literally name like every few years that kind mm -hmm. of situation mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. Like yeah. <laughs> if like, it's me not yeah. like nurturing the friendship or if I just know that's what happened. So now yeah. I'm like, you know, people go, people yeah. come, or what have you. I was um, in Germany. I was like a military kid, so a lot of I learned early, like yeah. friends mm -hmm. come and go. So Ooh. it just, I didn't know what to do. Like mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do because I just knew things changed, and I think a lot of people learn yeah. that older. Yeah, I learned that at seven that yeah, sure. you huh. can make really good friends and then you cannot have them one day. Yeah, um, so it just kind of it got ingrained in me. But now as an adult, I'm trying to tell myself like, just because that's like what the situation been like you can't just say that's how i am or yeah, that's how it is sure. yeah but it's very hard to break almost 40 uh, years <laughs> of like socialization and yeah. like just initiate texts and yeah. like say hey how are you doing like it all just feels so weird, weird. it does but it like doesn't mean i'm not thinking about the person mm -hmm. so yeah so to kind of go off what you were saying i think a lot of it stems from expectations of like because your friendships may have not been the friendships that you longed for because yeah. mm -hmm. so, I've dealt with that too like I felt like I didn't have a lot of expectations for my friendships at first until mm -hmm. so I learned how to communicate like yeah. no this is what I need from you yeah. and I think that really helped shift how we moved in our friendship and mm -hmm. have breakthrough because it's yeah. like this is th that's why my friends celebrate me because <laughs> I'm like, like I need it no You're I like, tell them like this is important to me yeah. so this should be important to you guys as well so Definitely. I would I want to be celebrated yeah. the old me would have been like no it's not a big deal it's yeah. okay but then my feelings would get hurt yeah you know? so that's true mm -hmm. and that that happens so much yeah. in yep. friendships in general yeah. I think we all have moments where we're like upset and yeah. we're hurt and all of the things and we feel like yeah I, I know for me, I've heard this a couple of times, like, I'm not dating you, yeah. you know? So yeah. I think people like have that fine line yeah. and they don't know how to yeah. really get the boundary mm -hmm. set. That makes so sense. you either do too much yeah. or you yeah. do not enough. Exactly. You don't exactly. want to be the needy friend. You don't yeah, want to be the exactly. needy friend, but you also don't so, know how to communicate. Yeah. Like, there hey, be just, because this, yeah. this, just because this relationship is not mm -hmm. intimate, and it's platonic, it yeah. doesn't mean that it doesn't yeah. matter. Because right. sure. some of those relationships are like the most important. Exactly. You know what I mean? Especially sure. sisterhood. Yes. Like, yeah. Are y'all like the no new friends? Like, I don't do girls, mm -hmm. or are you like the, no, give me the friends? Well, I got two new friends right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm we always do. open to it. Like, people say it's hard to make friends as an adult, but I feel like it's actually been easier mm -hmm. yeah. um, maybe because I've come out my show I was more like introverted as a kid and I was always afraid of like rejection yeah. or being left out but now I'm like I've learned how to meet so many people and talk to so many people yeah. so yeah. I'm always open to yeah. it or what have you and I yeah. also understand there's different types of friends yeah. you know like sure. there's not everybody's not not in a bad way but it's not all that equal. yeah that's a good yeah. one yeah because it's like 
I feel like there was times where I'm like, really quick to be like, oh, this is my, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, me. sis, my <laughs> sis, this yeah. is my bestie. And it's like, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I think that's okay. Oh, it is. And, and pe people do get offended where they feel like, okay, well, I'm not your best friend yeah. or I'm not super, super close to you, but I think it's okay to have buckets, yeah. Yeah. which is why I was saying, like, I, it's hard to say, you know, my friend's lifestyle was the same as mine yeah. now because I really do have like buckets of friends. That makes sense. And yeah. I love them all. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't love anyone more or less or whatever. I just know like, hey, these are my friends that I can, you know, bounce ideas yeah. off of and like we talk business and all this. Yep. And if I just need to let my hair down, yeah. mm -hmm. I already know what group to call. Exactly. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think sometimes we get a little like, but how do you deal with like friendship jealousy? Cause you, have you had the thing where it's like, happen. oh, you went with them or yeah. you did this with them. And it goes both ways. Like some people will say that to you, like, mm -hmm. oh, what you got yeah. going on Morgan? Yeah. And then sometimes you'll see your friends like yeah. out and it's like, oh. You didn't tell me. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. Cause what I do or what I've tried to do anyway, especially once I relocated, I tried to mix my friends in yeah. a way, yeah. not mm -hmm. like, in a bad way, like forcing people to be friends, mm -hmm. but more so like if I'm having a girls night at my house yeah. or whatever, I just mix everybody together yeah. because I'm like, somebody's gonna, all y'all are gonna all find some type of commonality yeah. at, at some point. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a little bit easier for me. That's true. Which I don't know if that sounds selfish or not, no, but no. I feel like it makes it easy because one, it's like now people are starting to find new yeah. friends yeah. within the friend group and I can hang out with everybody yeah. at the same time. Yeah. I think you? with the whole friendship jealousy is just for me, what I've learned over the years is communicating with my friends. Yeah. Like, yeah. You don't have to feel some type of way when I hang out with this person right. because yeah. the love is still there regardless. But me That's and my best friend always say we don't belong to each other. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. she doesn't own me, I don't own her. So when she wants to hang out with a friend, I'm happy for her. Like yeah. I want her to go and enjoy. And some now a lot of, like you were saying, I mix a lot of my friends together and mm -hmm. they hang out with themselves. Well, yeah. So it's like really Without cool because I'm like, y'all can go hang. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's taken a lot to learn how to not allow that to affect me as well and yeah. feel jealous or feel like they like, they're not including me. Yeah, I felt yeah. it before. Now, like, like I'm not even gonna pretend. Like yeah. I've seen it and like, oh, you're like, dang. Yeah. Why yeah. didn't you tell me about that? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I certainly would have said no, but. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good question though. Like what type, what does that conversation sound like? Yeah. Because we're talking about it and mm -hmm. we're saying like, oh, have the conversation and yeah. you know, be honest. But mm -hmm. what does that sound like? Cause there's a lot of moms and women in general yeah. that we're, we have the friends, we know that we're supposed to communicate, but we mm -hmm. don't know the words to say to that other person, especially once you have that baby yeah. and they are not inviting you. Yeah. What does that sound like? For me, I don't have the conversation because I know it's me and it's not mm. fair. It's not to me in that how it is for, for that. I don't think it's fair to put that on them. Like I know rationally, like people can hang out together. I know yeah. rationally, yeah. like maybe there's a reason, you know, they didn't, I don't want to go or they didn't invite mm -hmm. me. Like I go out and do other things with different friends. So why yeah. do I, why is it different for me? So I, those kind of conversations I don't have when I know it's me. I just don't mm. think that's fair. Not to say you can't have the conversation. I just don't see the point. Because what are they going to say? Like, well, I have other friends. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, you do, and you get to. But for me, when I was walking through motherhood, the yeah. first child, I mm -hmm. felt all those feelings you were feeling. Yeah. Like, yeah. like why, am, why aren't they inviting me? Why aren't mm -hmm. I being included? Like, yeah. it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And I literally would cry. I'd be like, yo, I'm in this house with this baby. And oh. yeah. But I also, like, as I become, you know, a few years into motherhood, I know that, like, they're not doing it intentionally. Yeah. And sometimes they're thinking of me. Like, yeah. They're trying, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to like make sure that I'm okay with mm -hmm. the baby. Like I just, maybe I don't want to go out, you know? Yeah. So just making sure too that I communicate like, yeah. please sense. stop not inviting me. I don't <laughs> yeah. like that. Yes, <laughs> and that's what I've said. I've literally told my friends at times like, hey guys, just because I have a baby does mm -hmm. not mean that I cannot go. Yeah. Now, I've also <laughs> said, doesn't mean I'm going to say yes, yes exactly. but give me the option, you know, yeah. give me the option to say yes or no, because I want to, mm -hmm. there could be a day where I need to get out the mm -hmm. house mm -hmm. and I know there have been plenty of times, yeah. especially with social media now yeah. mm -hmm. and you're at home, you're in the bed Clicking. and you got uh, <laughs> baby drool mm -hmm. all over you. Like there have been so many nights where I'm like, <laughs> gosh, mess, messy bun, <laughs> t-shirt on, in the bed scrolling, all my friends are, yeah! Oh my God. I'm like, no! 
<laughs> that I just close the app. Yeah, because yeah. it's you know it's hurtful. Yeah. Because then you're like nobody even thought about me. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes even if they ask you, you say no when you see it. It still bothers you. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, but it's yeah. worse. Well, it's when worse they, if they don't yeah. ask you. If they don't. Well, ask. And this is you couldn't have been this person since you had a child a little earlier. But <laughs> Sopa, were you ever like the friend? Did you ever have, did any of your friends have kids before you? And like, no. did, you didn't have that? I don't that? think so. Oh. I think I was the first one out of my friend group to have a baby. You were? So, so you were the practice. I was the practice. But so I think that's what made it so much harder because mm -hmm. no one understood where I was coming from. Mm -hmm. And yeah. no one understood like, let's continue to include her and make her feel special. Or yeah. mm -hmm. even the, the checking in part, it was like, oh, she's good. She's got a baby at home. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. chilling, you know, with her family. But I'm like, mm, I need a social life too. Oh, yeah. So, See, yeah, I have hard. the opposite <laughs> problem. That's why I asked. So when I, uh, so it's, it wasn't on purpose because mm -hmm. it would sound like the pregnancy pack, but it's like a lot of people got pregnant <laughs> at pregnancy. once, including no, me, but then I ended up miscarrying, <laughs> but everybody else had mm -hmm. like, their babies. So it's like this whole group of people mm -hmm. had babies at the same time. So they were like doing all this stuff together oh. and I would not get invited. Yeah. And I guess it would be weird if I was invited because it was yeah. like kid stuff. But it's yeah. like, I think it can also be the opposite way. Like, I think it's hard to think about it as the friend that doesn't, doesn't have, have the baby. Yeah. Yep. Like we're yeah. thinking about it from our perspective, not getting <laughs> yeah. invited, all this stuff. But it's yeah. like, you've also started this life now where yes. you might meet other people or you're yes. into yes. other things. But yeah, I felt so left out. They, I like uh, that you said that though because it also brings the responsibility back on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know there's plenty of times where even what we're saying now like yeah. oh well you know I want to be invited but you know I might not say yeah. yes because I do have the yeah. kids mm -hmm. but also like what type of what effort are we putting in yeah. to our friendships yeah. because yeah. sometimes the ones without the kids they don't really know how to mm -hmm. support us. And it's yes. more than just us communicating it, but like their way of support is maybe they're talking about the baby yes. and they're bringing something over for the baby. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing. And I think we've even seen that a couple yeah. times in our comments and stuff like that. Like our aunties are like, well, what do y'all want from us? <laughs> Cause I was like, I felt left out, but I also didn't want to hang yeah. out with like a baby. I didn't want to go to the restaurant with like a baby. Mm -hmm. Like it yeah. was, it was just a weird period of time. Yeah. And so, it's like interesting to have been on the other side. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, I, I just think both sides are going through it, yeah. but like yes. both people are feeling yes. left out. Yes. Yeah. And you especially know? if you had like time, if you yeah. had like, if you're really close with someone and then you had the baby yep. and then your friend is like, well, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. You want me to invite you somewhere and you can't, you're saying no. Yeah. Then when I don't invite you, you're mad. Yeah. And then when I call you, don't pick up the phone because you're yeah. probably tired. Yep. Yeah. So it's like, how do we, what's the balance? <sighs> I, I don't even know. I, I mean, <laughs> I had a, a trip once, and my friend might remember this, and it was I called it married and tripping, and mm -hmm. we went to the cabin or whatever, and all of us, except for one of them, had a child at the time, and we were like, we are not talking about our kids, we're not doing mm -hmm. it, because, you know, she hadn't had a child yet, yeah. and that was a sensitive yeah. subject, but we can't stop talking about yeah. our freaking kids. It's yeah. just like a thing that you can't yeah. help, so it, I think it can like also like make a person feel excluded, and mm -hmm. I think it can happen the other way if you're like, everybody doesn't have kids and then mm -hmm. you're the mom checking in and always yeah. on your phone yeah. like I need it, it's just the dynamics change mm -hmm. so much and really I think good. that's why it's important to have different groups so you're not just dependent that's on point. your you know if you just one have your solid. person yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think you can just have one person yeah yeah do you guys ever talk to your like non mom friends about motherhood yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would say so. I mean, not all the time. It just, I think it depends on what they want to yeah. talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they'll ask me questions, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's like, this time is for us. We yeah, just hang right. out and we <laughs> yeah. chill it. Um, but they do, I joke with them all the time because they, when they do invite me to places, sometimes they're like, Morg, where's the kids? I'm like, you, I'm not listen, bringing the kids, <laughs> not here. Yeah, so it's just yeah. like that type of, like but they team. love being like auntie and yeah. all of that. And yeah. I'm like, no, it's it's just us guys. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and that's too. Like, we feel I'm I'm you know I'm still valuable just <laughs> with me. Oh, yeah. that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah. After you have the baby and everybody yep. calls yeah. you and they yep. never talk to you. But that's How's a friendship the baby? thing. How's this? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. Yeah. I'm still a person. Yeah. yeah. Do I mean, you, do you ever ask your friends for help, even if they aren't like even if they have babies yes. or if they don't have babies? Like, yes. 
Do you communicate? Yes. They yeah. have my friends have my, child, <laughs> my children right now. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't. I always say I would never had a second child if it was not for my friends and my family. The like village. I, yeah. I yeah, didn't potty train my kids. Mm -hmm. Like my, my best friend did that. Like it's just. I, and she didn't even have kids at the time. That's mm -hmm. the magic of it all. Yeah. She had no kids. Had, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she that had potty trained like a nephew or something. But <laughs> yeah. she got them right and like yeah. helped them start speaking. Like I had a lot of help from my friends. And I, I learned in being a mother to ask for help. And yeah. I think yeah. friends and family are the first place you go all the time. Mm -hmm. I think you know which friends to ask. Certainly. Yes. Like I probably wouldn't have been that friend. <laughs> Just yes. being real, you know, yeah. but that's why, again, you have different options of mm -hmm. friendship. Yeah. So our goal is pretty much to make sure that we keep our friendships a priority. Yeah. 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 I would definitely say so. I think that they're, they're very important. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you can really get through life well mm -hmm. without a village and oh, without, yeah. especially as women, without sisters. You need them. Yeah. You can talk to your man all day long mm -hmm. and he may or may not understand. He may, you know, encourage you or just mm -hmm. tell you what you want to hear, mm -hmm. but no one is going to understand you yeah. like your sisters and I think oh. that that part is so so important like which is why I wanted I want to do better yeah. with how I pour into my friends because mm -hmm. again it's a two-way street like yep. I can't expect my friends to yeah. read my mind and do yeah. things for me and yeah. I do feel guilty about that sometimes because yeah. I always have so much going on yeah. I feel like I don't always yeah. pour the way I would love to back into my friends mm -hmm. So that's one thing I have to get better at. I don't either. Yeah. But I'd say who's teaching me to be a better friend is Sofa. Yes. Sofa is so intentional about friendship. Yes. So, in you know, it brings on some guilt sometimes. I'm like, oh, I got to do better at this. Because I just <laughs> know, mm -hmm. I see how she does it. And yeah. I'm, like, even though sometimes I know better, don't do better. I'm yes. just like, I think about it more actively now. Because I'm like, Certainly. I know how you like to be loved. Mm -hmm. And so then I, I spread that against all my other friends. Just yes. because they're not as vocal about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not to make it sound, you know, like, oh my God, Sopa's saying X, Y, Z. But you share how you feel and it's yeah. really helpful. And it, I think a lot of other people don't, like we talked about. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, if Sopa's saying this, then that means other Some, people feel yep. like this. And it just Certainly. makes me actively think about it. So now I just got my yeah. actions to just <laughs> yeah. follow up with You're the more recognition. Aware of, yeah. Yeah. Like, your other friendships. Yeah. So my question to you guys mm -hmm. is like, how do you. Or like, what do you tell someone who doesn't have a community of mm. sisters or like who's longing for that? Because some women, I, I get this question all the time. It's like, I've seen you have amazing friends, yeah. but like, how do I create that? Or like, mm. I just need some advice on how to have sisters mm -hmm. who I can trust to yeah. help me raise my family. I want you to answer first. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> you met a lot of your friends online. You yeah. met a lot of your friends in the adulthood or what you. have you. Yeah. So. so if I was to encourage anybody who is trying to create a community or a village it's just staying true to who you are and being authentic mm -hmm. you know I feel like a lot of people are trying to fit like what a friendship is but sometimes mm -hmm. it may not work for you mm -hmm. as it yeah. works for my my circle and so yeah. just staying true to who you are mm -hmm. and um, yeah just being your authentic self mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing because people can read and discern yeah. you, yes. you being someone that you're not that's, that's, that's kind of how you lose friendships too yeah. but mm -hmm. mm. That's so. that's a big thing. Yeah. I was gonna say just being open and mm -hmm. also discern. Yeah, discern. discern is so so yeah. important mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, once you get those friends, yeah. you either and discernment goes both ways. Yes, yeah. it does. You you can literally get the friends and you're like, oh, you know, I want to keep them close, mm -hmm. or you can be too guarded mm -hmm. and you're not yeah. discerning enough. Exactly. And so you're like keeping yourself from making those friends mm -hmm. and making yep. those connections because you're not being like open. Yeah. So I would say be open as much as you can, continue to be your authentic self and it will come. Yeah. yeah. I think what helped me is what you just said, just being open. Yeah. I just learned, I used to like chameleon myself, like to make mm -hmm. people yeah. very comfortable mm -hmm. all the time. And mm -hmm. so then everybody guilty. was comfortable, but I, you know, was I wasn't, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I just learned, you know, say whatever I'm thinking, mm -hmm. be myself and the people who should stick to me will stick to yeah. me and other people won't. Yeah. yeah. And that's totally fine. And I've met, mm -hmm awesome people by doing yeah. that it's completely changed like my relationship with yeah. people and that's why I say like I met most of my friends after kids yeah. mm -hmm. because I started going out more I started being more authentic to myself mm -hmm. because I also want to show my kids how to live like mm -hmm. authentically yeah. and transparently and like being themselves and so mm -hmm. it's helped a lot I think we also forgot the biggest like number one thing mm -hmm. is 
prayer. Like, yes, uh, 100%. praying for the right people to be in your circle. Certainly. You know? I feel like I prayed for my community. Yep. Yeah. And I asked God to send the right people yep. to yep. help me raise my kids because yeah. I couldn't do it on my own. And I live far away from family, yeah. from yep. both sides of our family. So mm -hmm. the community that we, you know, we had where we live now, mm -hmm. Like it was birth, I I believe out of my prayer life. So I agree. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Yeah. When I when I first moved, I literally had like no friends in the yeah. new area, and mm -hmm. I and then the pandemic happened. Yeah. And then I <laughs> so I was like, yeah. okay. Yeah. And you know I had yeah. a few, but I felt like they didn't. We never got to hang out yeah. really, mm -hmm. or you know they didn't know my true yeah. self. Yeah. And I like that you said that. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm a misunderstood a lot. <laughs> A lot. Um, what, Shug? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I misunderstood a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And so I was, I didn't feel like I was really given a chance. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I just started praying about it. I was like, you know what? I am not, you know, too big and bad yeah. to just say, I need friends. I oh, need yeah. people. Um, and then the ones that were there, mm -hmm. I made sure to try to appreciate and yep. not mourn the people that weren't. Yeah. yeah. You know? This is going to sound crazy. I've never really thought to pray, like, for friends mm -hmm. and like to have friendships. And the crazy thing about that is we'll pray for a man, we'll pray for You're a right. boyfriend, we'll pray for a husband. <laughs> Homeless. Yes, like help us, yes. you know, a job. But I've never really thought like, you know, bring the right, you know, friends and yes. like maintain that. Like, yeah. I think that's a really good one. You need the alignment. Yes, yes. Yeah. 100%. You don't want people in your circle that aren't supportive or yep. aren't wanting to celebrate you, any yep. of that, so. Mm -hmm. yep. Prayer works yes, for yes. everything. Prayer works. I have period. a question, y'all. Uh -huh. I saw this yes. meme the other day, and it said, don't you hate when, like, you aren't friends with a person anymore, but you miss their kids? Oh, and yes. <laughs> every, every day. But really what is, have you ever had, like, a friendship through, yes. like, and then your kids get connected yes. to them? Like, how do you deal with that? Because I know that it's a thing, and it needs to be talked about. Yeah, I don't, I don't personally like miss their kids because I'm probably not interacting <laughs> with them. I more miss it for my kids. Yeah. Like yeah. missing that friend. Mm -hmm. Like it's just I think seeing kids I didn't grow up with a lot of friends as a kid. I didn't mm -hmm. grow up with cousins, any of that. So when I see yeah. kids interacting with yeah. each other, I feel really bad that that relationship is gone. Mm -hmm. And I only say I don't miss a kid because I'm probably not hanging out with the kids. Yeah. Both of our kids playing and we're yeah. talking. Yeah. So I you know you mourn that relationship and I hate that my my child Has loses to, that relationship mm -hmm. because of something going on Between or just time. Yeah, yeah, I think that just sucks. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah, well, when they be that, Yeah, you had a question for a No, no, no. Yeah. I just wanted to. I, have I was a like, say more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> say more. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Give me tea. No. Honestly, I have. I think one of the things that I learned um, is just being more mindful of how I cultivate mm -hmm. those relationships mm -hmm. because I never really thought about it even happening. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. go into friendships no. thinking, oh my gosh, we're not gonna be friends after no. three, yeah. four, six months or mm -hmm. uh, years or whatever. And our friends are not gonna be able to, I mean, our kids are not be gonna be able to grow up together. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to learn that lesson mm -hmm. of, okay, not to be super guarded per se, yeah. but like not to do the whole like, auntie so-and-so is here. Oh yeah. And it Aww. seems so, I, I, know, I know. Is that a Southern thing too? Because I swear yes. my kids got 500 aunts and a thousand uncles. Yes. yes. I'm an auntie but for about a thousand. It, I think it sounds so easy to do, yeah. but it allows that child to get connected to that person yeah. on another level yeah. because you are now basically saying, mm -hmm. this your is family. your family. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And so then when that relationship disappears then it feels about weird family. Yeah. then you're like having to explain it which is good that you can kind of talk through that and it's a lesson but yeah. it depends on how old you got me the thinking child. about a lot of things yeah. now yeah. i mean i had to learn that i yeah. kind of had to say like okay like maybe don't do that as fast like yeah. maybe don't yeah. say the auntie thing yeah. so fast or maybe just being able to really just be mindful yeah. of sense. those things yeah. um because it happens yeah, yeah. yeah. has it happened to you Many times, yeah. And <laughs> She's like, yeah, I love you. No, know, I get really connected to the kids, oh. yeah, because I babysit them. I watch oh, them. Yeah. They come hang out with my kids and me. Mm -hmm. So that that is the hard. I feel like that's harder than the actual relationship of the adults oh. because I love kids and mm -hmm. I love how they connect with my kids. Yeah, and then you know they just become a part of my family. So. Yeah. It's really hard. It yeah. is. When but, your kid's asking if yeah. they can see, you know, yeah. their friend yes, or that is the their auntie yeah. or their whatever, yeah. and it's like, 
Oh. Well. Yeah, what do you say? Well, um, they're out of town. Yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> for, I, you, what I've said is like, no, we just won't go over there today. Yeah. You know, or, yeah. and I'm like, I kind of just kind of hope that they forget. And then yeah. they, it breaks Their memories keep getting Their better and better. <laughs> but what I've also, what I, I will say this, and which I have learned recently is, if my if my kid comes home with an invitation to like a birthday party from somebody at school, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take them to that birthday party. I don't know that mom. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's yeah. my kid's friend. Yeah. So if I have if if the same thing happens with a friend and the mm. kids are friends still, yeah. why wouldn't I say yes? They can go. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, and are I know, you getting invited though? Yes. The friend would still invite you? Yeah, because they're the kid. I mean, if you know that's what? a mature relationship. Listen. But mm -hmm. I have had that happen where we're not friends anymore, but the, the kids are oh. still, yeah. I don't have anything like that. So I'm just <laughs> like, I, I'm I like, did oh. that. I did that mm -hmm. for my last, actually, I just did that mm -hmm. for in yeah. June. Yeah. Or in, you know, for my kid's birthday, and mm -hmm. um, it didn't go very well. Like, oh. Oh, I got a whole long message. And oh. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. She's like, if, if, if the whole family's not invited, then my kid is not invited. And I was yeah. like, oh, the whole family can come. But it yeah. was just like. It's a weird It was situation. very weird situation. Yeah. Yeah. I think it can go either way. It depends how healed the person is. Yeah. That's like the, true. Like the relationship between the parent. And the yeah. Parent. yeah. Yeah. But you were just trying Ugh. to think about the kids. But I, that's what I yeah. tried. Think I was thinking about the kids. That, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I think that's the mindset I feel like we should have yeah. is. Yeah. Hey, like even though we're not friends, mm -hmm. our kids are friends. Yeah. And you would. Yeah. That's why I tried to equate it to. This person that I don't even know, yeah. that you know what I mean? That like, sure. I've done a whole play date, you know, with my uh, daughter's mom mm -hmm. and her, like, them all four, all of the four of us together. Yeah. I didn't know that lady from Adam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, why wouldn't I do that with someone who I have known? Yeah. And yeah. yes, there's, you know, a weird tension yeah. there, but we can. Because it's best for the kids. Yeah. And it'll That's make true. the kids happy. Yeah, like, we're not, it's, especially if it's a birthday party. 100%. We're not. Buckled yeah. up together anyway. Yeah. So it's just like, come on, girl, let's go to this party and bring Makes a nice sense. gift. Makes sense. <laughs> That's this, good advice. Yes. <laughs> this one's hard, but how do you deal with friendship, like friendship breakups? Because I feel like those are very painful. Yeah. They are. They are. So like, I have I have cried a lot. Yeah. Um, I think it's because I really do care about my friends, mm -hmm. and so I think it's good to feel that though. Yeah. I think that's the the way you deal yeah. is to yeah. feel it yeah. because it's easy again if you're not dating a person if you're you know it's yeah. not an intimate relationship then you're not supposed to be sad and you got to be like well whatever it like you yeah. know yeah. whatever about them I don't care it is yeah. what it is but like no you do care yeah that was a relationship that you had and that's okay to say that yeah. Yeah. and so I like more in the relationship and then I move on yeah what about you I don't know I think it's a little harder for me to move on because I don't make a like a lot of people that I, I mm -hmm. call like friends that I actually mm -hmm. want to yeah. hang out with or talk to or like relate to so like when I've um, lost friendships they, it really hurts because yes. yeah. for me and it's usually I think it'd be different it's just like time pass and we just kind of mm -hmm. weren't friends but it's like I really pride myself on my character not that I'm perfect but yes. I am who I am and I just think like I'm trustworthy mm -hmm. like just a lot of stuff about me so when I lose a friend because they're doubting something about my character yeah it just it hurts me immensely because i'm like yep. i feel like i've proved and not like i gotta prove who i am i've yeah. shown and yeah. exhibited who i am over and over again so mm. like how is this happening over this yep or like yep. and if i did do it like something that like offended that person yes. like can my character be enough to overcome yeah. it gosh and it's yeah. so good yeah so i've good. been there and it's like it hurts. Oh, it hurts because you're hurts. like, then I feel like you never really knew me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, did you or like, is it? And I also understand. I think a lot of people's issues with you have nothing to do with you. That part. And that's the. I think that's the closest I can get to moving on. Is yes. People got stuff going on that have nothing to do with you. And I think that's how I rationalize some friends not hitting me up. Things. I'm yeah. like, people got whole marriages, friendships, yeah. work. People yeah. are tired. Like everything doesn't have to do with oh, well, mm -hmm. you know, I just don't feel like calling Blair. Yeah. I don't feel like doing, like, people have stuff going on. So mm -hmm. I know, like, people have stuff going on, and maybe I'm the lucky person on a Thursday that the butt <laughs> of that issue that yep. now becomes yeah. a whole big issue yeah. when it would have been a small issue on a Tuesday or whatever, yeah. you know? And so that, so it's hard to move on because it makes me question myself. Certainly. And I'm just like, ooh, could yes. I have done this? But I'm like, I know my, yeah. my intentions, but other people just yeah. feel impact. 
and yeah, yeah the so pandemic hard. exposed a lot of relationships for me mm -hmm. I know that for sure because mm -hmm. it was like we either were like really close yeah. and we talked mm -hmm. or like random stuff came out and I'm like I didn't even know that you felt <laughs> yeah. that way about me. like y'all have a lot of time to think in this yeah, house yeah. yeah but it was like a it was very defining you know mm -hmm. what I mean and I was grateful for it because it allowed me to see what people really thought of me. Yeah. And I, will, I was the same way as you. Yeah. I had a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, like, am I really that bad of, like, am I mm -hmm. a bad person? Yeah. Because this person feels this way about yeah. me? And That's it real. does, it, it, yeah. I feel like my character is flawed. And my, my two of them happened during the pandemic too, so you just yep. have no time but to Listen, sit and yes, think about and it. think about it. I had it. four happen like that. Oh my God. So, yes. I couldn't I have, I had I had two was hard two. enough. Two, I think four? I had two. Four, yeah, it was very tough for me, but, it allowed me to do a lot of self-reflection. Yes, and it's so also hot. fitting in like, okay, what are some things that I can change? Yes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I know my character is intact and mm -hmm. I know that like, I didn't do in something intentionally to hurt them. Right. Mm -hmm. But there were some things that I could have changed exactly. to oh, become certain. a better person. 100%. So, yeah. The friendship breakups are so hard, mm -hmm. but they're also like blessings in disguise for yeah, me. Cause yeah, I agree. I've grown so much since me too. those heartaches. It's I like know. I'm aware more. Yeah, yeah. more like aware. The things that they do mm -hmm. say, I'm yeah. like, okay, maybe it wasn't to that extreme, yeah. Yeah. but there are some, there's some truth yeah. there, you know, too, and I can... Yeah, no, it's change. definitely yeah. grown more, of, you know, it, it benefited, it yeah. worked out. But it'll all make, it's make me sad because yeah. I cared Hurt. about no. that person. And I, I wish, like, me I could have gotten better so. with that person still <laughs> yeah. in my corner or those people, you know? So it's, so there is. them on social media? They don't follow me. And so I followed them for a while. And, and then, then I finally I, said. And then I think I realized they unfollowed me. And then I just kept following them. And, and then, then like, like, so I unfollowed. Oh, and then one, I just had, I muted because I think they had, like, said something about me on social media. So I didn't want to oh. watch it because I was like, we might become, I'm that person. Yeah. I'm like, oh. we might become friends again. And, and I don't want to hold that yeah. against them. So I never watched it or what have you. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I was, you know, watched it. And I think sometimes, like, one of them, my friend, like, shows it all the time. I'm like, oh, she's doing so good. I'm very mm -hmm. happy yeah. for her. But, um, and I think like that one, I like reached out a little bit. It was real dry. So I just, you know, <laughs> I let it go. I was yeah, like, I'm not gonna like, be a little desperate right. puppy, but I'm like, hey, I still like you. Yeah. yeah. Do you like, like do you? reach out? That's a good point. Um, I, I did. And, I, and, and she just, your outer. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is I'm not normally with my regular friends, but I think to show her like, hey, I still yeah. like you. I still mm -hmm. care about you. You know, I'm gonna, you know, I don't reach out all the time. I think it was like, yeah. You know, I think I reached out like once, like a year ago, and then another mm -hmm. time, like so, yeah. like something simple, but like, hey, I ain't got no issue. Like, yeah. you might have it with me, but I just want you to know because I loved how our kids were into. Yes. Like, it was the kids uh -huh. thing too, yes. and I actually yes. loved her kids. So maybe I do <laughs> actually. Yeah, so oh, I'm out of there. I love. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So I actually am a reacher outer. Yeah. Like I like to. <laughs> reacher outer. Get on a shirt, TM. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I love my friendship so much, I want to pursue them. Yeah. yeah. And like, I will pursue, pursue, pursue I until that. I am like, I know that it's not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah. You know, if I've done my part in knowing that I've at least tried with this friendship, mm -hmm. because I value people. And yeah. So yeah. When it's not being, like, it's not being reciprocated yeah. or they're just not healed from the situation, yeah. then I'm like, I back yeah. off and be like, okay. Yeah. I watch from a distance mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm happy you're healing, you're doing well, yeah. your marriage is thriving, like all yes. those things. But yeah, I will reach yeah. out. Yeah. And I don't, I, I don't want to say I'm not, mm -hmm. but what I will say is I will, when it, everything first mm -hmm. happens, I will make sure I do my part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'll say, hey, let's sit down and let's mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. Like yeah. I'll be the one to initiate those. Yeah. If those do not go well and I, there's no resolution from those, yeah. and I'll do that like maybe one to two times. Like I'll give it some, mm -hmm. yeah. some good, good. <laughs> I'll really give it a good go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if it doesn't, then I feel like, okay, yeah. you just really don't want to be my friend yeah. and I'm not going to force you, baby. So let's just yeah. call it what it is and that's okay. Yeah. We just, you know, and maybe that friendship was for a season. It yeah. is. Yeah, well, I mean, most friendships are, yeah. whether long term yeah. or short term. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But I, I did like, read wait. something. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's over. Not this over. Is <laughs> no, but I did read something that sometimes you meet people where they are, yeah. depending on their inner child, like yeah. what, whatever, wherever mm. they are in life. Yeah. You know, you could be a friendship to a person when they were 12 years old, yeah. even if they're 30 right now. So yeah. it just yeah. depends. So what they need, what they yeah, need in that, that moment. That's so, good. Yeah, yeah. So it really does help me with my mm -hmm. friendships. Like, where are they in life? Are they their, you know, 15 year old? Is that who's speaking? 
talking to me? Yeah. Or is it someone that, you know, I know is all healed, about that. So. We learned that in therapy. The yeah. therapist yeah. would be like, how <laughs> old are you right now? Yeah. Like, that's really? what they'd ask, like, when mm -hmm. you're, like, Maybe um, that was you that I heard from. Yeah. It was you, how not old you, How old are you right now? Yeah. And are you talking from your four-year-old mm -hmm. self, your 12-year-old wow. self, yes. your current self? Like, when you get defensive, is that because you're thinking from your, you know, mm. a certain time in your life where you have My to protect Lord. yourself? Like, yeah. it's, it's therapy. That good. was you. Okay. Oh, that was I thought it was social media, but I learned oh. it from you. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did the hard work. Yes, I went to I therapy. The yes, yes. Therapist. <laughs> I think every friendship needs to have some form of therapy. Yeah. yeah. Together or either like yeah. you in therapy, I'm in therapy. Yeah. So we can my have a healthy. platonic mm -hmm. friendships taught me better about my marriage, my intimate mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah. Because I, of course, your husband, mm -hmm. the, your friends first. Yeah. And so a lot of times we it's so natural mm -hmm. because we're like, oh, you know, we're we're together all the yeah. time. Of course, we're friends. Of course, we like each other, all yeah. the things. Yeah. But then I recognized there were some things in my friendships that I did carry on into my marriage mm -hmm. that were not good habits. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was like a mirror. And I was like, ooh. Ooh, them mirrors. Yes. And I would <laughs> ask, I asked him, I literally would ask like, hey, you know, I always ask, you know, he's my sounding board yeah. when mm -hmm. we do have fallouts of friends yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, do I do this to you? Yeah. You know, and it, and he and he like, yeah, like, girl. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, I thought you knew that. And I'm like, well, dang, when was you gonna tell me? But it's because yeah. he's so used to mm -hmm. certain yeah. things that it's like not even a yeah. second thought for him. But it did, like you and said, it's a growing. And how things yeah. affect men are different than how they certainly. Affect sure. But it makes me want to yeah. change it. Yeah, of I'm course. like, okay, no, I gotta do better at that. Yeah. So. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we want to hear from you. We yes. want to hear if you have yes. the village. Mm -hmm. Are you prioritizing the girls' nights, the brunches, all the things? We hope that this conversation was enjoyable for you. Yes. Thank you for joining Moms Actually, yes, where yes. motherhood meets sisterhood. sisterhood. See ya. Hey, Mom. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Mom. What's up? Hey, Mom. What's up? Hey, Mom. What's up?